Hey, what's up guys? You see it's the dog and hound. And um today I'm doing a review of the custom map uh game mode known as Phantom Mode. Um in Phantom Mode actually let's put this on first person. Um on Phantom Mode, uh you it's a free for all. You start off um you start off uh, just with a, you know, I'm the blue Protoss here, and there are seven others, and these people currently are your allies, but the, um, in phantom mode, there are, um, there are, fan there are three types of players. There's phantoms, there are phantoms, um, Paladins and Slayers. Slayers are normal players. They get no benefits or anything like that. They just um, they just play and they try to survive. Um, paladins they get extra income and they try to defend everybody, uh, defend the Slayers and other Paladins. They get extra income and thus they can build a lot faster. Um, in this game, I was a Paladin. And then the last uh, people, the last uh, player type is um, the Phantom, which the Phantom is uh, like the Paladin and they gets extra income. But as time goes on, it also it the uh, Phantom also gets extra supply count and the uh, amount of extra income that they get increases as time goes on. So that the fa so basically the Phantoms over time will become so powerful that they'll be unstoppable. And the game, it, and the point of the game is, um, in the normal game type, which is good versus evil, um, the, the normal game type is that you, um, the phantom, or not the phantoms, well, yes, the phantoms try to stay together at, as they, you know, try to figure out who each other are, because eventually it, uh, the phantoms, I believe at like 30 minutes in, which we never got to that in this one, um, the phantoms are revealed to each other, and it's up to the paladin and the slayers to, um, hold out, survive, and, um, beat the phantoms early enough into the game that, um, they can't overwhelm them. So right here, I'm just basically, uh, macroing up, and excuse me while I take a sip of cream soda, because I love cream soda. Mmm. So, right now, uh, it's pretty boring, so I'm actually gonna change it to faster times two. Um, this guy down here is uh, AFK, actually, I believe, or uh, he goes AFK. He went AFK, and actually, uh, Yellow here is going to go Zerg rush him and take him out. And uh, you'll find out. And uh, the only way to find out uh, what type um, of character people are, or what type um, of you know player people are, is that um, is you kill them. Once you kill them, then you find out what they are. And, uh, you'll find out when he dies, um, why the, it's funny that he got killed off really early, and why it really helped me as a paladin. And so also in the center, um, besides you have your main, and then you also have a quick natural, and you have the gateway, you also have, um, two high yields in the middle, and if you heard that, and that second ding that you heard there was, yeah, and everybody's saying wow and LMAO and stuff like that. Because he was a phantom. It didn't actually pop up in the replay because that only pops up, I guess, in the game. But that was a replay. And so, uh, you know, people here are just getting the... Getting the high-yield minerals. Another sip of cream soda. So really, um... What's the best way to win this Protoss? And I used to play Terran, and, and I, I normally play Terran, but on Phantom Mode, I just always kept getting my ass handed to me. So, what do I do? I throw on Protoss, and I put it in the mass Void Rays. Yep, that's right. They nerf them, and they still kick ass. And somebody was accusing me here, you know, um, it, it seems that, like, uh, even when I'm doing good, um, yeah, I'm just saying, just because I know how to play makes me a phantom, and the yellow's like, yes. I'm sorry, I'm going to stop drinking my soda. You admitted that at the time, where the ballet is always... 
Yeah, pretty much. Happens every time, yeah. It's so it's not it's not knowing about how to play, but it's you're obviously strong. Well, thanks, Papa Smurf. <laughs> Papa Smurf. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, I'm just I think yep, yep, I start to pump out my first three void rays. I believe I actually eventually get up to either five or six. I think yeah, I say get up to six Stargates. Um really, um I'm gonna continue leaving this on times two because this is kinda boring. But this is the only the only um Downside. I'm here in the, the only downside about and actually Red was trying to um, try to, to suggest to attack me, and you'll find out why that's funny later on. But um, really, the only thing I dislike about this game, I think it's a really fun game, and it's um great um at and it's great at it's great for things like um you know it's it's great for a party game and that kind of stuff, and I really like it a lot. Just you know, to go mass void rays and be a little douche. But um, I really like it a lot because um, it's just it's a lot of fun. There's there's a deception element to it. Um, but the only thing I hate about it is that that ling rush that you saw there, you see very very rarely, if at all. Um, so it's really kind of um, you know cheesy, it just, you know, I mean, not cheesy, it's it's the opposite of cheesy, it's the exact opposite of cheesy, it's not cheesy at all, it's just all, you know, um, it's all, you know, turtle, wait until you max out and then attack, so, that's the only thing I, uh, dislike about this game, um, and normally, um, if you are ever aggressive, like, really early on, you'll pretty much get labeled as a phantom and people will destroy you will gang up and destroy you destroy you so um my strategy for this game like i said was just mass void rays and i also uh did get some phoenix as well for uh extra anti air because the phoenix are um slightly better against air units than uh void rays especially against the smaller moving targets So really, like I said, this is what I hate about, you know, the Phantom game. Actually, let's see. So 6, 11, 11 versus light, and they have 7, 11, 11 versus armor. So really, these Phoenix are good against uh, things like Mutas. Very good against Mutas. Um, so, really, this is what I hate about um, it. But there's also things like... Um, if you watch closely, which is what I love, which is what I do a lot. If you watch closely, um, with, uh, you know, people, uh, if you watch, uh, who you suspect the Phantom is, it's easy to, um, it's easy to, uh, see, uh, who is a Phantom based on, um, based on um, if you when you hear the sound and it says denoting that um, it says that um, it says like that the phantoms grow stronger and they get more supply and better income if you watch the people that you suspect are phantoms when it says that they get more supply watch them and see if they start producing more things because if they do that means that that shows you right there they're phantoms go destroy them before they get too strong. So that's a very good strategy and it has only failed me a few times. And I play I've played this a lot. I'm I'm really kinda getting tired of just playing um, you know, just regular ladder and I've been playing a lot of and, and you'll see right here, Phantom, right there, because he has two hundred and twenty supply. So sorry, I just uh, you know, kinda ruined it for you, but alright. And so yellow uh, takes takes his uh, you know his slayer role and decides to actually actually do something. Excuse me. Um,
Hmm. Really, I don't have much to say about this. Um. How would that growl? Oh wow! I think actually, Pally, uh, the yellow was a Pally. And that's the other thing, is that people always accuse attackers of being a, um, you know, a phantom. It's like, oh, you attacked me, you're a phantom. No, I'm not. Maybe you just suck and I decided to attack you. Because you're not going to benefit anybody if you suck. So, you know, it kind of gets annoying. And also, um, minerals have very, very high, uh, have, are very high. And, you know, same thing with gas. Yeah, gas is even higher. And if I remember correctly... And if I remember correctly, uh, yellow was a paladin. So, at this point, it was down to a paladin. One paladin, myself, and one, um, phantom. Yeah, if you just heard that clip there, that was, uh, yeah, dying. Uh. So, I just killed the best player here. <laughs> How was Yellow Pally? <laughs> I heard the clicking, and I saw all these mutas pop, pop right here. Look at all those mutas popping, and I'm gonna say it on the chat here. Look at, look at, look at red. A bunch of mutas just popped, and and look, yep, I'm pulling up the, the tab, I'm pulling up the tab for real this time. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it. A bunch of mutas popped right when he got all that extra supply. So, and oh yeah, that's my penis. And this is the one nice thing about. If you have surprise, if you make surprise attacks, they have to un uh, un ally you to um, to attack you. So basically, Red didn't start attacking me until half of his mutas were gone. So you know, I had the upper hand here, and with all these void rays, it is not much of a contest because as void rays, imbaw, imbaw. Blue really is last valley. Valley, thanks, Papa Smurf. Thanks for believing in me. And you know, with all these freaking void rays, it's basically over for Red here. Um, even with a bunch of you know uh, freaking mutas popping right now, mass void rays overpowers everything, especially when they're charged up like this. So. I don't even think anybody decided to come in and help me with my, uh, destroying... And actually, I thought I was going to be attacked while, you know, they started... While it was happening, and also I was starting to re-macro my army. I even threw in freaking carriers! <laughs> but that didn't matter. My void rays continued to go unmolested, and I... And look at what he did with his overlords. Oh, that so cute. Not really. I'm not husky. And... That's it for you, before you're dead, dead and gone. And so, uh, that's pretty much it. So, uh, yeah, guys, uh, rate, comment, not rate, uh, like if you did, dislike if you did, comment on what you would like to see if you want to see me do more reviews like this, and, um, if you really want to, subscribe. So, um... Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you guys another time.